www.cocogullywebsites.com. There's a new um, malware just come out that I've just found out about called Soak Soak, and this is affecting uh, WordPress sites. Apparently, there's been around about a hundred thousand WordPress sites infected already, um, and what the screen looks like when you get this is probably something like what you're seeing on the screen right now. This is a screenshot that I found uh, when I googled the thing. I personally don't have any websites that are infected by this but I wanted to uh, make you aware of it just in case you have had this happen to your website and you want to know what to do to fix it. First of all let me tell you what to do to prevent a soak soak infection. Um, one of the things that most people are um, recommending is that you make sure that you have got all your plugins updated and also that you have deleted any plugins that are um, inactive. Now I'll give you some examples of how to do that. If you go to your admin and you go to plugins and installed plugins, you will find at the top you can see how many inactive you've got. If you don't have any inactive you won't see the word inactive and you can see how many are ready to be updated. So in this case this website's got 16 that are inactive and it's got five that there is an update available for them. So what you do is you click on the word inactive if you're going to be deleting the inactive ones or update available if you're going to be updating the ones that have an update available um, and then what you do is you first of all take a backup of your website okay if you don't know how to do that there's other videos that will show you how to do a back, backup of your website so click on the box at the top in this case I'm doing the inactive ones so I'm going to go down here and I'm going to say delete and then I'm going to click on the apply button and then that, once you've done a confirmation, that will delete all of the inactive plugins. Similarly, you can um, update all those that need updating using the update available screen. Now, um, one of the things that uh, you can do to find out whether you've actually got the uh, infection or not is there's a site that you can go to to check that. And that's this one, which is sitecheck.security.net. Now, I will put a link at the bottom of this video to a place where I'll add all the links that I'm mentioning in this video. Okay. So what you do here, if you go to sitecheck.security.net, is you type in the URL of your uh, website, and then you can click on Scan Website. And that's going to go through and just check whether you have got uh, any bans or any known malware and things like that. This is a free service. Um, if you find that you do have a problem, then I suggest the first thing to do would be to get in touch with whoever is looking after your website for you. Um, in the case of my clients, that would probably be me. Um, or if you don't have anybody to look after your website for you, then you can get in touch with Security and they will help you to clean it up. Okay, now um, so you can have a look at that. Now, if you want to clean it up yourself, there is a uh, rather technical thing on the Security blog, and again, I'll give you the link to this um, in the you know through the in the page that's mentioned below. Um, what this is saying here is that you have got um, possibly two things, and further down they mention a third one that might have been infected. So uh, what they're talking about is that that's probably going to be caused by the rev slider. If you've got um, what's called the rev slider plugin or anything that uses the rev slider uh, technology on your website there's a really good chance that your website could have been infected and also it, it gets worse because it could also infect other sites which are on the same server. So if you're using shared hosting like you might be if you're using Namecheap or HostGator or one of these big um, you know, hosting places then you might find that yours has been infected even if you don't have RevSlider. Okay? So if you've got a WordPress site it's really worthwhile looking to see whether you've been infected. Now if you have, and I've installed this already on um, all of my gold and silver support plan people, but if you've got a really good security system there's a pretty good chance that it would have prevented this in the first place, but it's still worthwhile having a look and just running it through the site check thing here, just run it through here and see whether um, you've, you know, you've possibly been infected. So if you find that you have been infected and you want to know the technical details of how you can go about fixing 
this, then go and have a look at this particular entry, which is the, the blog post on Securi. Now this particular blog post may be updated as time goes on. This was actually written on the 16th of December, and right now it's the 17th of December, and as this thing evolves, this page may change. So I recommend that you don't just watch this video that, I'm, that you're watching now, that you also go to this page and make sure you've got the latest information about what you need to do. So basically what you're going to find is if you have a look in your WP Includes folder, and you probably need to use FTP to do this, um, you'll find that you've got a thing in there called swfobject.js. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, if you don't know what FTP is, and you don't know what a WP Includes folder is and that sort of thing, then fixing this is probably going to be outside of your area of expertise. So again, I would recommend that um, in order to fix up this soak soak thing, you get in touch with whoever looks after your website or you get in touch with Securi and get them to do it for you. Okay. Now the other thing that they are recommending here is that you have a look at your w WP Includes folder and look at the template loader.php file. Um, that could have been infected. Now you can download the latest version of the WP Includes template loader.php uh, file from wordpress.org and you could up Date that. Now this is assuming that you've got the latest version of WordPress loaded. If you're not running the latest version of WordPress, first of all you should be, but if you're not running the latest version of WordPress you can go to wordpress.org and get the um, source files for older versions from there. So what this is doing then is it then talks about a bit of technical stuff about exactly what this particular um, infection is doing. Um, it actually loads a flash file called, S, um, it's an SWF type of a file. Um, it says that it has put in some ob I hate that word, obfuscated JavaScript and it's only affecting Firefox and, and Internet Explorer 11 browsers at the moment but it could be um, you know, it could be affecting other browsers in, in sometime in the future. So what it's done is it's um, injected an iframe file onto it uh, and there's a, a URL here which is has an unusual HXXP I think maybe they put that in there so that it doesn't say HTTP so that people don't click on it anyway uh, so don't go to that don't try and go to that link there there's not a, even a link don't try to go to that address because you could find that that is going to cause an infection on your uh, computer or on a website or something um, there is an example here of a hacked one. Um, the dom it's just telling you a bit about the domain. It's now saying that uh, you need to look out for the SWF object.js and the SWF object, which is spelt differently, .swf. So you need to look out for those, and you may need to update your template loader.php. But again, as I say, go and have a look at the uh, at this particular blog post to get the latest information if you're thinking of fixing this yourself. So that's the soak soak vulnerability. Now one thing that often happens when I do a post about a new vulnerability for WordPress is people say oh gee I don't want to move to WordPress because WordPress isn't safe. The point is that the reason why WordPress is sometimes targeted for um, malware attacks is because it is so popular. There's something like 20% of all new websites these days being built are WordPress websites. There are some really good security plugins that you can add to a, to a WordPress website that will, um, no, I'm gonna, not going to guarantee they make it hacker proof, but they certainly do beef up the security a heck of a lot. And if you want to know more about how you can actually increase and improve the security of your website of your WordPress website. Um, I'll add some links uh, again in the post that's associated with this particular video so, or to um, you know, other posts that I've written about WordPress security or you can get in touch with either me or Securi and uh, we can discuss about how we can make your website a lot more secure. So that's it. Soak soak. Looks like a lot of fun. <laughs> Not. Bye. Thank you for watching our video. Please take a moment to visit our website by clicking on the link below. We'll see you there.